hi guys welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to set up or configure ftp server with the help of filezilla server on your windows 11 so you just need to follow me so first of all what i'll do is i will open my browser you can open any browser and go to google.com and type over here filezilla server simply press enter and go to that first link Simply you need to click on this home button over here and here you will get our two option which is filezilla server and client. So I'll download filezilla server. So click on filezilla server and download the filezilla server. So here you will get a filezilla server, a pro version and free version. In free version you will not get SFTP and two factor authentication. So I'll download the free one. So I'll click on download and as you can see it is downloading. So after download, you need to install the files server on your Windows 11 machine and now click on I agree and make sure that all these options are checked and click on next and from here you can change the destination folder means where you want to install this files server so you can browse and change the uh, location where you want to install this files server. So I'll go with the default option and click on next now click on next. So here you can see the two options uh, you, are, you will get, one is manual, another one is uh, Windows default service, install the service and I will uh, go with the default option and click on next. Now here you need to open the notepad and here make sure that you have copied this port number over here on your notepad and administration password. So for your file the server you have to set administration password so in my case i will set over here 123 so i'll set 123 so you can set any after that click on next and click on yes now here it is showing for all user or current user so i'll select for all users and click on install after installation done click on ok now close this window Now I'll close this FileZilla server. So on this, on your desktop, you will get our three uh, icons, which is one is FileZilla server, another one is start FileZilla server, and stop FileZilla server. So through this option, you can start your FileZilla server, and you can stop through this option your FileZilla server. You can also use a CMD to start up your FileZilla server. For that, simply you need to right click on your start menu icon and click on terminal admin click on yes now here you just need to put the command is called net stop or start filezilla minus server after that press enter as you can see service was started successfully and if you want to stop the filezilla server simply you need to type net stop filezilla server and it will stop so after that i will start the filezilla server once again after done you just need to open filezilla server now here you just need to click on connect to server and you will get your host local host which is 127.0.0.1 and the port number which is which i have set during installation which is as you can see 14148 and the password i have to uh, type the password which i have uh, set for um, this file server during installation so which is in my case one two three and i will check these two options which is save the password and automatically connect to server at startup after that click on so now after check these two options you need to click on ok now click on yes once it will done you need to click on server over here and click on FTP network configuration wizard click on this option and click on next now here I will set the custom port range which is the first option so I'll go with the default option 491522 uh, 65534 okay you can set any port range over here as per your choice so I'll go with the default option so I'll copy these two, uh, these two port number on my notepad 
so this range minus this port so this port range will use for filezilla server okay after that you just need to click on next now here if you are using dedicated public ip or host name you need to type over here if you are using a local machine like me local ip address local connection then you have to check this option which is showing over here use local ip for local connections so uh, you just need to if you are using a uh, local ip then blank this uh, option and click on next now here it will show you what you have changes so port range you can see from here external ip you can see over here like i have I haven't used any public ip so as you can see it is showing no public ip on the local ip now i'll click on next now here i will simply click on finish and click on yes after done you need to click on server once again and now click on configure now on this page you will see the server is listeners so which is the port number for your ftp connection as you can see you can change from here if you want to change any other port number you can change from here and now click on ftp and ftp tls which is the certificate you can change the certificate from here now rights management you will set group and users to connect to your S uh, ftp server so i'll select user over here users and i will set uh, or create one user for this ftp server so i'll click on add now you have to type your ftp username in my case i'll type over here ftp underscore user one okay so this is my username for uh, to connect ftp server on your right side it will show you user is enabled make sure that this option is checked and here authentication you have to select the password and you have to choose this option require a password to log in and now i'll put the ftp server uh, password which is one two three so i'll note down this username and username and password to my notepad okay so for ftp user password is one two three okay after that on virtual path you need to select click on add then you need to select here forward slash and native path you need to uh, paste that folder location over here which you want to share with your ftp user so in my case i will create one folder on my uh, desktop so i'll right click click on folder folder name i will type over here new under new i will copy paste this uh, text document so you can save any file or folder over here which you want to share so i'll share only this new documents text new document so now what i'll do is so simply you need to go under this folder which you want to share and simply click on over here and simply copy this location after that you need to simply double click on native path and simply paste it over here that location okay so in my case it is c under user trick under desktop under new folder after that from here you can change the access mode which is read only or write read and write only or disabled so select here read and write now filters you can if you want to disallow few ips on your network you can simply type those ip over here and allowed ip ranges over here you need to if you want to um, add a selective ip ranges to allow this ftp server then you have to put over here okay so i'll not change anything over here so i'll click on limits so from here you can change the download and upload speed limit you can see from here and after that you need to click on apply just put the password and click on apply and okay after done you need to go to your start or search window and type firewall.cpl after that press enter after type firewall.cpl it will open your windows defender firewall so make sure that you have turned on your uh, windows defender firewall and after that go to advanced option means settings now here you have to create one inbound rule to connect your ftp server from the different machine on your network so simply click on inbound rules over here click on new rule and after that select here port 
over here and click on next. Now select here TCP port and specific local port you have to type over here 21 comma then space here in to put this IP range over here. So simply copy from your notepad and you just need to paste it over here as you can see. After that click on next. Now make sure that you have selected over here allow the connection and next. Now check this three option which is domain private and public. Next then firewall name means uh, inbound rule name is FTP and click on finish. After done I will try to connect this uh, this server from my uh, different machine on my local area network. So for that I need to check my IP address of my FTP server machine for that I need to open CMD go to start and then type CMD then open command prompt and after that type over here IP config. Now press enter now it will show you the IP address of your machine. So in my case it is 192.168.0.122. So you need to go to that machine from where you want to connect on your local area network and open browser. On your browser you need to type FileZilla client. After that go to that first link which is filezilla.-project.org and download the FileZilla client and install it on your computer. After installation done simply open FileZilla and on host you need to type that FileZilla server IP address in my case it is 192.168.0.122 Username, I have to type over here my username, FTP server username, which I have already set, which is FTP user underscore user one, and the password is 123, and the port number is 21. And click on quick connect. Now click on OK. Now I'll check this option, which is always trust this certificate in future sessions, and click on OK. So as you can see, I'm successfully connected to that FileZilla server, and from here you can easily download and upload any file over here. So suppose I want to upload the screenshot over here. So I'll directly upload over here or else you can uh, drag drop your file uh, from your computer to your FileZilla server. So before ending this video, I would like to share a few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.